This has to be my favorite gun, the SIG MCX Spear. This has to be one of my favorite guns out there, and this is the SIG MCX LT Spear. Now, I initially bought this gun in 7.62. This is a 7.62 bolt SIG MCX Spear. However, simple Virtus barrel swaps along with the bolt can change this 7.62 into a 5.56 caliber. You could even go with a 300 blackout caliber. With the multi bolt carrier group that's inside of the gun, it gives you that capability of swapping out barrels or swapping out bolts to shoot different calibers, which is why. I love this gun so much. The 7.62 round, of course, has a lot of kick. It's very fun. The price of the ammo is fairly cheap. Right now, though, it's kind of going up. But at the same time, I wanted the capability to be able to swap out to shoot my, you know, favorite round, the 5.56223 caliber. And with the versatility and compatibility between the MCX lines and other legacy models out there, you have the ability to do so very easily. It took literally 10 minutes. And I would like to show that, unfortunately, the way YouTube is right now and how things are going, it's kind of against their policy. The gun itself, magnificent, beautiful gold. Great trigger, as you can see. Safety ambi switch, easy on and off, I love it. We have here though the Sig Romeo 8 in the tan, along with the tan EOTech three time magnification. This barrel right here that you see is a 10 and a half inch barrel and the brace that is on here is a sba3 tactical brace along with the folding mechanism that you can easily fold for storing it i really have nothing negative to say about this gun whatsoever man i love it it shoots great the trigger is nice the overall look is fantastic i own the sig rattler 300 blackout already and it plays a lot of similarities in the parts here and the simple barrel swap it's not that much, you know. Right now, these things are going for crazy on the resale market. People are literally reselling this gun for insane prices, which, you know, I don't agree with, but it is what it is. But at the same time, SIG has a good availability of barrels out there, so you can get the gun and swap out barrels as you choose. It is a little pricey, but it is, uh, you know, good to be able to swap calibers at a at a ease. I'm gonna down the road swap out the flash hider for something from like a Surefire out there. And, you know, down the road, probably get a suppressor as well. But as far as any other upgrades, this thing just doesn't need it. The SIG MCX Spear LT. Magnificent. Hey guys, with the recent YouTube policy changes and all those things going on, I just want you guys to know moving forward, there'll be a lot of changes on this video on how I show certain things and what I can show. Simple things as taking a magazine out of a gun or showing a gun or a magazine equipped it with more than 30 rounds. I have to basically get 20 round magazines or 29 round magazines to use in videos because if I show anything above that, it is against YouTube's policy. So I will no longer be able to clear and show all that type of stuff. You're just gonna have to trust your boy that the gun is clear and more than likely I'm gonna make sure it's clear before I even press the record button. But also the magazines that will be used in my videos will be 30 rounds or less and I will just have to do what YouTube thinks is the best thing to do and follow their rules. Also no attaching or detaching of any type of things on this gun can be shown. I'll just have to leave it as is. So just keep that in your mind and keep that on the forefront and we'll make things keep on rocking, all right? Let's get to it. So yeah, guys, man, having the six spear in my life has been a blessing, definitely. I really like and enjoy this gun a lot. I love the build, I love the package. Have been already owning the MCX Rattler. This was definitely a dope addition added to the family in 5.56. And with that 11 and a half inch barrel, I'm not losing as much velocity as shorter barreled 5.56 out there. And I know that 5.56 out of a short barrel is not always something that people like, but this was just something I couldn't resist. I do, however, also am pleased that I still have retained my previous and original barrel being in 7.62 that I can easily swap out from 7.62 to 5.56 in a matter of 10 minutes or less. Unfortunately, unable to show that to you guys in this video, of course, today was something that I deeply dis did not like and appreciate. But this is something to let you guys know that if you do own already MCX barrels out there or if you want to buy the conversion kits from MCX out there and you own the spear, they will work and they'll have no issue whatsoever. 
Uh, of course, they'll have this whole thing decked out the way I like and the way I want. And this isn't something yet that I would say is home defense for me. I mean, this is definitely home defense capable, but I have other things that I have already fully set up. And right now, this is just my fun gun, my Gucci fun gun at the time. Of course, you know, down the road, I would like to possibly make this a Form 1 and, you know, fully stock it out and all that. And when I initially bought it, I did have the tail hook NCX brace on here that I did like. I like the whole little minimalist wire type of stock. But over time, I've kind of now switched my thoughts in how I like the gun look to more of a traditional stock. I think maybe the fact that the XM5 that this gun is actually modeled after uses a stock, even though it has this adapter, it uses a little more of a smaller slim stock. I think me seeing that and for what it really is and wanting it to be, you know, the most and look as clone as possible to what the XM5 is, is what kind of changed my mind for this. I definitely want to change out this flash hider down the road and maybe put on a Sure Fire War Comp or something like that of this matter. But right now I'm just enjoying the gun for what it is. I swapped out and got some Duramags. These uh, Duramags of a bronze, burnt bronze to kind of match the color and make everything just look real nice and pretty out there. The Romeo 8T is a blessing. The EOTech got that Cerakoted. This is the magnifier. I think this is the 43X, not the G33, but the 43 is a little bit slimmer and fatter, but shorter, but also gives you that three times magnification. And, you know, SBA3 brace that may be gone. We'll have to see how that whole thing turns out. But all over, man, everything about this gun is magnificent. Strike Industries hand stop. Everything about this um, build, great. No uh, problems, no issues. I love it, the fact that the bolt carrier group is a multi-caliber. Once again, you can just swap out. I can make this also 300 blackout. That is a matter of 10 minutes. Putting about five to 600 rounds in this, it's been a great time. So stay tuned. I would definitely make some updated videos down the road as we continue to transition more and more into this you know, beautiful gun here. And I'll keep you guys updated as well. So let me know if you guys have any thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And I'll try to answer as many as I can. But I bring to you the full setup of the SIG MCX Spear LT. It's a beauty. I'm out.